Hi, I'm Kevin Krause. And I'm Liza Maleri, and we're looking for a classroom to enhance our photography skills. We are looking for something small and not too crowded, and we're also looking for a place that's quiet and private. We hope that the room we choose has a teacher that's easy to reach out to and knows how to work a camera. And we also like a media lab to work in as well. Personally, I like a lot of space in our room, and we're okay with working after school, but definitely working in school would be a lot more motivating. Today for the duo, I have three rooms. The dark room, the broadcast room, and room 109. All rooms are perfect for anyone who is looking to enhance their photographic skills and provide all the tools that are needed. The darkroom is a perfect place if Kevin and Liza are looking to go a little old school. Or now, what's in trend? The darkroom is a perfect place that they could develop film taken with film cameras. There's plenty of counter space perfect for developing film and plenty of tips and tricks around the room. I like this room. Mm -hmm. Though it's kind of small. It's crowded. And there's like, machinery. and there's no computers to with, like yeah. it's not a media lab. So the dark room was nice, though it was very small and there weren't any computers or just nothing to edit off of. So we're gonna, we're gonna have to say no to the dark room. Up next, right down the hall is room 113, also known as the broadcast room. Students are able to use the wide variety of cameras to film and capture moments to enhance their photographic learning. In here, students mainly film and produce film related projects, but the room is a perfect place for editing. I like this room. It is. It definitely has a media lab, which we like. The only thing is, it's a, it's a little crowded. too. It's very crowded. It's but crowded. it definitely does have what we're looking for with like, like the media lab, the computers, computers, having a place to edit. The green screen in the back is just it's too nice, much. but like and crowded. Yeah. The, with the broadcasting room, we both agreed it was really nice. The only problem was that it was just really crowded with all the tables, but it did have like a place to edit and a place to take pictures. The last room I have for the duo is room 109. Room 109 is definitely the biggest room so far, which will most likely be a selling point for them. In here, students can create anything to everything, physically or through technology. Props, lights, cameras, paint, computers, and so much more is offered here. Okay, wow, this room's actually really perfect. This is really nice. Like, it's very nice and roomy. There's a lot of room, which is perfect. Yeah. It has all the lighting. Like, for when we want to do photo shoots, it has, like, the good lights, the, lights. the backdrops. And then the computers for us to edit, which is perfect. And it's not crowded. For 109, it was really nice because it just, it had a lot of space. And there were lights and backgrounds. And there were also, like, computers. It was organized, too. It was clean, spacious. It wasn't crowded with, like, a bunch of tables. Everything was, like, neatly put together in a way. Yeah. So, I think we can both agree, agree. Uh, that our final room is going to be... 